Hello everybody. Well, it's time to try to clean out the cylinder bores. And I'm my nephew. Gave me a thing to try. Now it used to be, I guess I should back up just a hair. Got this back from the machine shop. They've honed it out and stuff. I can't bore it because basically it's maxed out. So, had a little bit of rust here and there, so we just honed it. This is your, the epitome of a down and dirty rebuild. So, after you hone, you've got to clean this up. You get it back from the machine shop, it's always nasty. So he said, hey, instead of using up seven, eight, nine cans of uh, brake parts cleaner, soak a rag in soapy water, and just run that up and down. And we give it another dip. The excess runoff. I tell you, this is an exciting video. Ain't it? I don't think I really need to re dip this thing, but I am. Just to get a good, healthy dose of soapy blah blah stuff. Could have used a little bit smaller rag. <laughs> yeah, there's no oil left. So that's phase one. Used to be, I would use a can, can and a half, a brake clean, cleaning up these cylinders. I'm going to overhaul. Now I've saved myself a price of all that brake clean. This water around here and there. And this is the same oil that I used. I'm oh, spraying all over the place. Oh. That I used when I honed this block. It's uh, just a spray lubricant. Soak down the cylinder walls.
is about all there is to it. I mean, I'm doing a little overkill here, but Any chance of any rust? So, that's one side. I'm not going to bore you with the other side. And my cylinder heads are over there, along with, you, know, you probably can't even see that, but timing chain cover, the oil pan, uh, alternator bracket, all that good stuff. I'm putting a roller cam in it. Lifters are way over there, along with the cam. And timing chain set. So... I will start putting this together probably tomorrow. For today, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing the other side, and we will call it good. Okay, a little quick update here. If you're wondering how well this works, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's actual little metal particles. But the other thing to look at is, well, right there. That water was clear. Now, what I did was I went back and did this again, but I got myself a little rinse bucket. And after I went through with the soapy water, cleaned every bore, I rinsed it out with that, and then dried it out, then put the oil on. So, that's our situation. Overall, doesn't look bad, except for that cylinder right there. Most of this, well, this one's got a little right here. This one's got a little right down there. And this one's got some right up here. These other cylinders, they all look pretty good. This thing must have, this thing sat with water in it at some point in time. And when it broke loose, it was number three over here. Yeah, I think it was this one. Well, I know it was number three. Broke a ring. Broke the top out of the piston. This is the cylinder that I'm worried about the most. It's got a really bad spot right there, and that's why I can't bore it. Because that's deep enough that since it's already bored 40 over... 60 wouldn't take it out, and I'm not going to spend the money to have a bore that isn't perfect. And I doubt that you can even see it, but every one of these is cracked. These are all steam ports because the 400 small block has Siamese twin cylinders. There is no water jacket going in between here. So water comes down to here, stops. I don't even know if you could see it here. Maybe on this side. You can see the discoloration in the middle where they meet up. Right here, no water goes through. Either way, I just got a micro fracture. So I'm going to do something I shouldn't. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this. You can really see it on that one. They say not to, but they uh, also have a lot of cures, most of which are fairly expensive. Drilling this out, putting in a plug, all that kind of shit. Uh, I'm not throwing that much more money into this rebuild. 
I will gut this thing and I've got a 350 sitting out in the garage and well, you can't even see it back there never mind I've got another 350 sitting way back there that I could turn into a 383 stroker by using the crank and all the guts out of this one so that's where I'm at that's what I thought I'd tell you we're gonna put some block sealer in this thing cross our fingers say a prayer to God and hope it works basically it's just gonna be a weekend warrior so like share subscribe tell a friend tell 12 I don't care I'm not making any money doing this because I don't have enough subscribers I'm really not worried about it because I do this for the fun of it and speaking of subscribers and things like that I've got three main channels that I watch all the time Rusty Love Mr. Heavy Chevy and DD Speed Shop speaking of Mr. Heavy Chevy he's all the time complaining about a dirty workbench that's a dirty workbench that's a dirty workbench right there that's all the parts I've got to put together on this thing so let me know you like it and who knows maybe I'll have something that you'll be interested in the next time have a good day